I know there's things you cannot tell me. But I also know there's a story here, and I think everybody will hear about it. Do you think your paper has the resources to take that on? I do. Do you? How's it going, everybody? Today we're reviewing Spotlight, directed by Tom McCarthy, starring an ensemble cast which includes the likes of Michael Keaton, Mark Ruffalo, Rachel McAdams, Leah Schreiber, uh, Tom Slatery, Stanley Tucci. There, there's a lot of people in this movie, and uh, they all come out to play as well. So this movie's about the Spotlight unit in the Boston Globe with their investigative journalists, and basically them uncovering the Catholic Church and the child molestation scandal that occurred from as early as 1985 and even probably unfortunately to the present day to hopefully a lesser extent. Now what I have to say about this movie is a very very powerful movie and I believe it's a movie that needs to be seen and a story that needs to be told. Also the whole cast comes out to act in this movie. They're all great but the thing is they don't necessarily spend a whole lot of time developing each character which I actually really enjoyed for this movie because they let the story be the star of the movie. Um, you, you don't necessarily, you get little insights into each one's life, but they're not the focus of it, um, which I really did enjoy. You, you find out a couple things about Rachel McAdams' family, and you get to find out a couple things about Mark Ruffalo and Michael Keaton along the way, but it's not, that's not the focus of it. The star of the movie is this story. Also, everyone who plays a victim in this movie, of, of who has been affected by this, they add, each one of them isn't the, isn't the same. Everyone has a different story to tell, and they each play each other very differently. So it, it tells you like it's everyone could have been affected by this in different ways, and everyone deals with it in different matters. So again, very very powerful movie. There's also a couple twists and turns along the way. Every once in a while, they throw in something, and you, you, it's like holy like sometimes throughout the movie, I was like like almost like jaw dropped. I was like, wow, this actually happened and went on, and no one knew about it. Or if some people did know about it, they decided to just ignore it or, or some other thing. They don't want to give anything away, but like, it's just insane how how many people could have done something about it, maybe didn't, and it's just, it's crazy. Also, I want to say something about Leah Schreiber's character. He kind of comes in as the, he used to work in Miami, he comes to Boston to run the Boston Globe, or I believe he's like an editor there, and uh, basically, you, you kind of get the sense that he's kind of going to be like the, no man, you guys got to work hard and do this thing, but he, he's very a laid back, like, you're not your typical leader of the Boston Globe, he's just kind of like, uh, like a shy, shy person, and it's, it's not what I expected, you expect the new guy to come in, be the tough guy, and like, hey, we've got to crack him down, we got to do this, do this, do this, but he's, he's not, and I really did enjoy that, because it surprised me. Now, if there were to be any acting nomination along the way, it'd probably go to Mark Ruffalo, um, again, the whole cast is great, but Mark Luff Ruffalo, I believe, was a standout in this movie, uh, he had a couple very good scenes, so if there's any ask acting nomination, it'll probably go to him. But what I will say is that this is probably going to be nominated for Best Picture and potentially Best Screenplay. I, I think because it, it was such a powerful story. I'm not sure if Best Director will be up there. Um, I mean, for all you know, it could. But I didn't think the directing was like, like holy crap, that was amazing. Or, But it, the directing didn't take away from it. It, it, it. If anything, it did add to it. But again, uh, I could see a Best Picture nomination potentially best screenplay because I think the story like I said is the star of the movie another actually great actor in this uh, if, again if for another potential acting nomination you probably won't because I think there's a lot more for a supporting actor that will get it over him but Stanley Tucci was great in this movie as well uh, a very good performance from him so overall really really love this movie uh, definitely recommend you guys check this one out uh, my my ratings on this thing I'm gonna go big I'm gonna go big movie rating of a 10 out of 10 and probably an enjoyment rating of a 9.5 out of 10. I, I really did love this movie. It was it was awesome. Uh, the movie I think is probably perfect, like as close to perfect as you could probably get. It, it's a very powerful story. Great acting across the board. Great direction. Um, just pretty much flawless. Again, it just took me. If my only negative is just I just had to the first 15 to 20 minutes. I just had to get into it a little bit. But other than that, from, from the first 15 minutes, like after that first 15 minutes, I was locked in and every scene was engaging from then on out. So let me know if you're looking forward to Spotlight or if you've seen it, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel for more videos each and every week. That is it and I will talk to you all later.